Hi all, I am Dr. Jay Prada. Today we are going to see uh, what is SQL, that is query structure language, and then uh, what are all the different SQL operations, categories uh, of uh, different operations in uh, SQL, square structure query language, and the different data types. It's going to be a short video. Uh, so in the last video, we have seen our uh, database system architecture. SQL, and I'll give the link of that in the description link. So SQL becomes a standard of the American National Standards Institute in 1986 and the International Organizations for Standardization in 1987. And this is the common language for all the databases. And this is also called as the fourth generation languages. And the SQL is called as a non-procedural language because this is going to be like a, a normal English statement. This is not going to follow any procedures. It follows syntax but does not follow any procedural. Uh, in our future videos, we'll be seeing the procedural language, which is nothing but PLSQL, Procedural Structure Query Language, we'll be seeing it. So as of now, we need to know that SQL is not a procedural language, it's just like an English command. And then uh, this SQL is also not a case sensitive. So you can use capital words also, small words also. That is not going to make any difference. It's a case sensitive. And all the SQL queries that you are going to give actually ends with the default terminator called semicolon. And based on the uh, operations, SQL is divided into three categories. One is DDL, DML, and DCL, where this uh, TCL also usually we say comes under uh, DCL and DQL also actually comes under DML. Nowadays they are categorizing into five categories but actual categories you could say DDL, DML, DCL. So TCL comes under DCL and DQL comes under DML. So DDL. So it's a data definition languages uh, and DML is a data manipulation languages and DCL is a data control language, TCL is a transaction control language and DQL is a data query language. So under DDL, you have a create, alter, drop, trunker. Since you have here three categories or five categories, which is being again split down into five categories, those three categories, we have lots of operations that, are, that comes under uh, each uh, commands. So I usually remember DLS, cat, t, which is nothing but cat, t, cat, T, which is nothing but create, alter, drop, and truncate. And DML, I could say it's insert, update, delete. So insert, update, delete, and then SQL also, I could say, I'll say it in DML, but now nowadays it's been categorized into DQL. So under DML, you have insert, update, and DL, where you can remember as IUD. Okay, uh, you can remember it as IUD. And then DCL, the grant control language, grant and revoke. So these are all like self-explanatory, creating something, altering something, dropping in the sense, uh, kind of delete, but it actually differs from delete. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, drop and then truncate, it is also kind of delete. And then insert, inserting some records, updating some records, and deleting some records. And when you come to uh, DCL, you have grant and revoke. Grant is nothing but grant and revoke will be mostly done by the database administrators. Database administrators have all the uh, authorities, authorities and he has all the authorization stuff like uh, whom he needs to give uh, permission for accessing such records, whom uh, he, if he feels that, okay, this person is not genuine or he doesn't want uh, to access this table, he can revoke if you have already given the um, uh, what a uh, permission to use a particular table so all these things will be done by the database administrator database administrator is actually ex well clearly explained in our database system architecture video which uh, i have given in the description link you can actually check it out and then tcl you have commit commit is nothing but um, it's a kind of save and rollback if you feel that i don't want to save this i have to come to the previous point you go for the rollback and then save point is like i could say it's a kind of bookmark so save point until uh, for this till this point i'll have a save point till uh, the next for the four to five points i'll have a save point so all these things will be clearly will be explaining in our videos and then select you'll be selecting the few records from the table 
so these are all uh, these are all the five categories where i could say uh, it is a three category where tcl uh, is actually split in from dcl and tql is actually split in from dml and the data type is nothing but um, in sql we have a scar where care number uh, date and then raw uh, long glob and then blob so care is uh, nothing but it also actually uh, have the um, it also accepts the strings or words or normal a b c d and then where care also accepts the uh, normal uh, text words the main thing is like uh, uh, this where care to actually it can have a uh, what variable uh, length for accepting the letters where uh, care will not have a variable length it will have a uh, fixed length uh, of uh, actually uh, the receiving the characters and the number you know it's integer date is nothing but the normal date the date you do not have any other format you will be using the date for when you want to save a date date of birth or date of joining you use a character call that is not character data type called date itself and then draw which is nothing but it accepts a binary data or by string that are not to be interrupted by the oracle and then long stores variable length character strings glob used to store unicode character based data and then blob varying length binary string that can be up to uh, some these many characters long and then uh, when you come to the same data type in sql uh, so our database will store the data in the form of table like this so this is one attribute which is called as a column in database you usually call the column as the attributes and table as the relation you call a table as the relation that is what is called as relational data set sql uh, when it gets saved it stores in a relation so relational database so this is uh, id is one attribute name is one attribute date of birth is in one attribute pin code is in one attribute so the data type of id is number data type of name uh, is in where care uh, and then uh, dob date of uh, birth is in date and then pin code is also in number if you see here you have a character and where care here so this is nothing but uh, see here you have um, 10 boxes here where for car you have used uh, there is lorry and car you have used only eight here maybe for car when you come to this you have used only three here the remaining three are all already fixed so this is of no uses of waste okay no one is no one can use it it's of like a kind of waste uh, byte or waste empty space whereas where care it's a variable fixed length so if you don't want i want just the three characters the remaining will be actually used for something else okay and then the one more thing is uh, timestamp where timestamp will actually not only save the uh, date as well it will save the time so time and then b file where the path links url will be saved and then xml type where the xml type uh, files will be saved um, that's all for today's video in the next videos we'll be discussing about the ddl dml dcl TCL, DQL, all those stuffs we'll be discussing. Thank you, guys. Please check out uh, the uh, database architecture system uh, in the uh, link in the description box. And if you really like the video, my video, Dr. Jayapradha J video, kindly subscribe. Thank you.